All right, I'm Battered Shins Moyes, and this is Watch to Listen Consume. All the best blade edits to watch, all the best blade podcasts to listen to, and all the clubber you can get your hands on, man. Razors are doing a new run of the much loved Genesis skate. So, this is a Genesis LE limited production. So, there's only a few, so you're gonna have to be quick to get a hold of these. They've got the new Razors cuff on it. They've got the ground control light wheels, ground control feather light free frame. There's bits you can take off, and it's got that classic gen double lace system, mate. All the laces, get them on there. Get that thing laced up. And as of yet, I've not seen anybody moaning about it, which is a bonus. SF brand have got together with Celtic, so that's the Scots and the Irish. Mate, that's one hell of a party. I said going out on a Friday, rolling into a Saturday, probably rolling into a Sunday, Sunday dissolving away. Before you know it, you're at your desk on Monday like, what on earth has happened? I feel insane. This is the worst day of my life. It's that kind of party. Either way, for SF Brands, a thousand posts, they made the announcement that they're getting together with Caltic on a wheel, 64 millimeter, 91A, double-sided print. So you've got the Caltic in yellow on one side, and you've got the smiley face on the other side, which is definitely Mr. Happy from the Mr. Men. His grid's missing though, because that's where the bearing goes. Smash, right in his face. And the yellow is probably hmm, reflective of how your liver would look if you went out partying with this lot. Either way, great little addition, tapered wheel, try and get a hold of some. I'm back talking about socks again. This time it's Edo. So these socks have been made in a small German factory out of the leftover premium organic cotton socks they had left, mate, and you've got to treat your feet right. One of the best things I like doing is, and I hope everybody else does this, because if you don't, it's disgusting. DISGUSTING! Taking a spare pair of socks with you and you're skating. If you're using intuition linings, your feet are cooking. They're bubbling up, mate. Everything litty, I love when it's hot. That's like a slow cooked chicken or something, or a brisket, mate. Whoa. There's some serious cooking going on in them liners. Either way, your feet are stinking, they're absolutely minging. But, towel them off, you put on a fresh pair of socks. Oh! Sensational. Feeling is unbelievable. It's like that, you know, when you buy a new pair of socks, when you put on them new socks, that, that feeling only lasts once. This is the closest you'll get to that feeling again. Fresh socks after a skate. Oh! Getting over to Edo, you can either pick up single socks, well, as in a single pair, or a pack. Hey, maybe you could speak to them and be like, ah, oh, just want one actually, because I've lost the other one. Maybe they'll do you a deal, maybe they won't. This is just me chatting rubbish. So I mentioned this in the last Watch, Listen, Consume, the Parallel Collective have got together with Loik Even, and now it's out. Last time I mentioned it, it was on the way. Actually, it was probably already out by the time I did the video, but it's definitely out now. Get on over to their website and have a look through the range. There is loads of options in there. Really sick, man. Just like the fact that like, you could wear this anywhere, man, and you're looking cool. It's not too heavily skate related or anything like that, but you know they're supporting the blades, which is the best thing. Honestly, there's like a spiral one, there's a floral one, there's like a star bloke with a pair of skates on it, cruising along a piano. Brilliant. T-shirts, trousers, hoodies, tote bags. Also, on the trousers at the moment, if you don't see your size, they're doing a made-to-order service. What more can you ask for? Them boys are getting it right. Get on over there, support, buy a pair of strides with some nice patches on it. Oigan's got a new shadow on the way, so they're having a competition. You can win a hat, a beanie, free t-shirts, all you have to do is follow USD Shadow, and that's Shadow spelt correctly. None of this messing around with X's and J's and weird spellings and trying to be mysterious. No, Shadow. Although they have kept the like weirdness the way they've actually written Shadow on the t-shirts, you know. They've dropped a little bit off the H, the D doesn't have a back, they haven't crossed the A. Mysterious, edgy. 
just says shadow. That's the thing. Either way, follow USD Shadow, give them a like, and then as with loads of other competitions, you've got to do the bit where you annoy your pals. You've got to tag three of your mates in the competition to be able to enter. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's for the algorithm, etc, etc. But it's definitely a little bit annoying. I definitely feel a bit of a knob doing it. You know, you're like, oh God, who's going to hate me least when I tag them in this? Uh, I suppose they'll do. Ah, whatever. Get on there and do it, man. Bring some gear for yourself. It does actually look quite nice. And if I do a comp, you're tagging everybody you know. Death, oh man, I'm not holding back. You're tagging everybody. I want you to have videos of you going out on the street and telling random people about it. That's the only way you're entering it, if I am having a comp. Tattoos, all sorts, mate. I want some commitment. Jeremy Raff posted Country Store. So that's a bodega boy. He's going up north for a little bit of a skate park tour. Man, the skating is elite. What I think's best about it is just the flow and control. They've all obviously developed over years and years of skating. So nice to watch, man. It's like how comfortable they are on the blades. Really creative. They've each got their own thing. Man, I loved it. It's like eight minutes long as well. Eight minutes of goodness. Get on into it. There is loads of people involved. Proper primo. Earlier in the year, Orange Wheel Company and Jeff Phillip released a VOD. Hey, it's for free now, so no excuses. You've got to get over there and support him. Run them numbs up. You will not regret it. Loads of creative skating. He's got a great vision for interesting sports and just out of the box maneuvers. You will be inspired. I loved it, man. Jordan Williams has recently posted up, I'm so tired which is a title I can definitely relate to because I feel like I've been tired since I started uni and that was a very, very long time ago. Mate, student debt, nah mate, sleep debt to myself. I am in deep, I am in deep. There's years, years of sleep that I owe myself. And honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna recover. I'm gonna have to bang myself up in the pen doing a 10 stretch for the amount of sleep I owe myself. It's just not happening. Either way, let's talk about this video and not me. <laughs> so, super creative skating. Jordan's got a great vision, man. Really like his variety of his sports, the variety of moves he does on the sports, little things you weren't expecting, like that little 360 on the rock. Proper six skater and loads of control as well. Leon Humphreys has posted up Street Educated. He's been getting lessons off. Lollipop ladies, milkmen, the posty on the streets, man. He's been learning it all. This video is posted up for Symmetrics, filmed by Scott Blackmore, and has been banged up on the Loco Skates YouTube. Mate, it's proper good. It's proper Leon Humphrey's style, isn't it? Really good creative skating on peculiar obstacles in London. You always find something new. And there is, it feels like that, there is always something new in London. He's on it, mate. When there's something new, you get some sort of like sense, because he's street educated, he knows. When the streets are calling, he comes and knocking. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it is a really good video. Them skates have posted up collaborations, because they're the king of collaborations at the moment. They're everywhere, and it's sick. The video also dives into how we're in control of representing ourselves, you know? There's no other corporation chucking money at us going, hey, it's gotta be like this though. We're in control of our destiny. We're in control of how we're representing ourselves. Hey, and you know what? It's working and I'm with it. So let's keep on supporting all the good skate companies that we can and push this thing forward. Billy Matt and those posted up, last of the Sonoman clips. Now this bloke has either got a spirit level in his skates or a really good internal one. I mean, I guess that's technically your equilibrium, but he's got like an absolute banger of one. Or well, maybe he's got like a mobile app for it or something because his balance is unreal. He's just calling Billy the balance. So good. Go and check out this edit. Adria Sa posted up Sister Bastos. Man, this rips hard. He's such a good skater, man. All the spots he skates look great as well. They look so fun. And he goes berserk on them. He just kills a lot of them. Make sure you watch this one. 
Rob G was up on the power movement talking all about his life. And man, it's such an easy listen. The guy's voice is just soothing. Just a good storyteller. Like, he radiates kind of a good feeling. And he is such like a nice person. I've never met him, but from what I've been told and all the stories you hear, he sounds absolutely brilliant. He's just a dead nice guy. And his story is obviously super interesting. They obviously cover the time when he was shot in the head in the jungle. Absolutely insane. There's all sorts of other stories as well. JSF, growing up, having all the sponsors and how that situation kind of worked out. A little bit of detail there. Then losing them all. IYMTA. Get over and listen to this podcast. Just have it on in the background for just some soothing vibes, man. Really enjoyed it. Rob G's an absolutely brilliant guy. And it was a really cool interview as well that uh, the power movement did. Liked his style, man. Matty Schrock has been up on the Jump Street podcast this week. He talks everything from his horrific skull fracture accident, other injuries as well. He talks about riding flat. He talks about his stuff with Rejects magazine and skating with Dunkel. Bit of reminiscing with Billy about the old days. Frank the Tank gets a shout out. Lies of good stuff in there. Make sure you check out that interview. And that's the news for this week. Fair bit of stuff out there. If you like socks, then fresh socks feeling. Give us a like. Hey, do us a favour and hit subscribe as well. Share it with your pounds. I'm nearly at a thousand subs. That'd be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll do it all again next week. Spotty dog.